Hello and welcome to WebDev Mentors YouTube channel and you are watching programming in Java series for beginners. So in this video we're going to see about relational operators in Java. So relational operators mainly check for relation between two values or variables in an equation. So if you have a variable A and variable B, so relational operators can be used to check if the values or the variables are equal, greater than, less than or less than or equal to something like that. So we have a set of relational operators which includes equal to, equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to. We're going to see each one of them in implementation part by writing a program for them in our Eclipse IDE. So you can also use NetBeans IDE, there's no problem with that. But as of now, I'm going to use Eclipse. So I'm going to open my Eclipse IDE which is in my Windows driver. selected the workspace project folder as webdom mentors it's going to take some time to load so this is the file that we have used in order to do arithmetic operations through arithmetic operators so i'm going to create a new class file named as relational operators relational operators So we see that the class has been created. So I'm going to directly create my main method. Public static void main string args. So I created the main method. I'm going to first create some two variables, integer variables. That's so going to be a is equal to 20, and integer b is equal to 10. So now we're going to apply the relational operators in these two variables and get the values. So first I'm going to check for equal to, sorry about that, equal to, which is going to be equal to, equal to, equal to. So each of the relational operators is going to give you an output as Boolean values, that is equal to true or equal to false. So Boolean equal, equal to. I'm going to compare these two values a equal to equal to b so this is going to give me a value which is going to be either false or true so it's going to be false as 20 is not equal to 10 and I'm going to next check it's going to be not equal to also with exclamation mark and equal to boolean not equal equal to a not equal to b and then i'm going to check for greater than greater than boolean greater than is equal to a greater than b so that means a has to be greater and here so less than boolean less than a less than b and uh, I'm going to check whether it's going to be greater than or equal to greater than or equal to so it's going to give me true if it is either greater or if it is equal greater than or equal to b same goes with less than or equal to it's going to give me true if it is lesser than or equal to this value so it's going to be lesser than sorry about that I've Declare same name for two variables and you can see that they're on an error. Duplicate local variable greater than. So that's the speciality of ID. It's going to give you an error directly. So equal less than equal a less than or equal to b. So now we have declared every operator that we have in the relational operators. So I'm going to print out every one of them system dot out 
dot print alum. So we have it. I'm just going to copy the line just to make sure that I'm going to use it a long time. A and B are equal. So I'm going to concatenate the equal variable which is going to be the boolean. Next, I'm going to check if not equal A, not equal to B. Not. So if you don't want to type it, all you have to do is start typing and if the suggestions are not coming up, can use control space and then you'll be getting this list of the suggestions. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to again type for greater than A is greater than B. So I'm going to use G and control space and you can get the list of suggestions. A is lesser than B. less than and A is greater than or equal to B. I'm going to greater than equal. I'm going to go with the final A is lesser than or equal to B. Sorry about that less than equal. Now we have actually used the relational operators and I'm going to print out each value. Let's see the output. So I'm going to run the project and you can see that A and B are equal. It's false because 20 is not equal to 10. A not equal to B. So it's true because 20 is not equal to 10. A is greater than B. 20 is greater than B. So it's true. A is less than B, it's false because 20 is not less than B. A is greater than or equal to B, so it's greater than B, so it's going to give you true. It's not equal. It has actually uh, satisfied the first condition, which is greater than, so it's going to give you true. A is less than or equal to B, so it's not less than, it's actually greater, which is 20 is greater than 10, and it's not equal to B as well because it's greater than B. So it's going to give you false. So you can actually play around with the code. You can change the values. It's not necessary that it has to be 20 and 10. You can give the same value 10 and 10 or 20 and 20 and check it out. Play around with the code so that you can learn. That's the end of the relational operators. And it's also the end of the video. Thank you for watching. And if you find this video useful, please hit the like button and also share it with your friends. And if you have any comments or suggestions or feedbacks, please feel free to share it. And you can share that in the comment section of this video or in our Facebook page, Google Plus page, or Twitter feeds. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel.